What is up FEG fam? Welcome back to the channel. So this should be a relatively short video, but I thought it was an important one nonetheless. And I wanted to talk about Elemental Mastery, but more specifically Elemental Mastery on your Yai Miko. If this is a stat you should be focusing on. I believe people are confused on this topic because you may or may not know one of Yai Miko's passives boosts the elemental skill damage based off of how much elemental mastery you have. And because of that reason, I think people are unsure whether or not they should focus on that stat when they're building their Yai Miko, how much elemental mastery to have, and, and things of that nature. Now, in today's video, what I'm going to go ahead and do is give you my subjective opinion on the topic and what I'm doing specifically when it comes to my build. And hopefully this video helps to better give you an understanding of what you may want to do for your own account and your own build. Now, if you did find this video helpful and you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like. It helps out the channel tremendously, more than you even know, and it's free. Also, if you're new to the channel or you've been watching all the videos but you haven't subbed yet, go ahead and consider subscribing. Join the FPG family. We would love to have you stick around. Now, keep in mind, I believe, and I've stated this before, that the elemental skill is going to be a very key and integral part to Yai and Miko's kit and gameplay. I think it's a bit underrated and I think people will be surprised on how good it actually is when she drops in the game officially. With that also being said, I do have to use Yai Miko officially in game to see how significant the boost in damage is for her elemental skill based off of that elemental mastery. Until then, I'm just making a speculation and I'm just going based off of what I believe, right? So I could be wrong when she officially drops. And I also want to get your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. I like to get you guys engaged on the topic in the videos. So my own subjective opinion, I don't believe you should be focusing on elemental mastery and I'm not going to be focusing on it as well as a main stat on your artifacts. And the reason that is, is because the increased elemental mastery is only tied to boosting the elemental skill damage. It's not tied to any other part of Yai Miko's kit, whether it be the normal attack, charge attacks, or elemental burst. And I think if you focus on that stat too much, you're going to be missing out in other areas when it comes to damage for Yai Miko, more specifically towards her elemental burst, which I think is going to be extremely important to how well Yai Miko is if you want to use her optimally and really make sure that you are playing her to her full potential. The elemental burst is going to be crucial because her elemental burst is one of the strongest in the game of Genshin Impact, at least as this recording, without officially using her in game. So if you focus on elemental mastery too much, I think you're gonna be lacking in the elemental burst department in terms of how much damage you're gonna be able to do with it. And the elemental skill is going to be hitting hard, no doubt, but the other part of Yai Miko is gonna be lacking and I think you're going to be sacrificing damage just so you can boost your elemental mastery as much as possible. It's very different than with a character, let's say for example, like Kasawa, where a lot of his kit is based off of elemental mastery. And the more elemental mastery you have benefits your other allies on your team and the other characters that you have to boost their damage. Yai Miko doesn't have such supporting capabilities, so it doesn't really, in my opinion, make sense to focus too much on the elemental mastery just so you can have the elemental skill hit harder. I just don't think it's that significant. It would be different if, for example, the best in slot or the applicable weapon that is going to be coming alongside Yai Miko, her specifically, the catalyst, boosts. Yai Miko's damage based on how much elemental mastery you have, very similar to like the Raiden Shogun's Engulfing Lightning. That is one of the reasons why with the Raiden Shogun you focus on energy recharge is because her weapon, the Engulfing Lightning, if you do have it, increases your damage based on how much energy recharge you have, as well as with her artifact, boosts her damage based on the energy recharge, so that's why it's so integral and so important to focus on energy recharge with the Raiden Shogun, and that's why you want the Sands to be energy recharge. But unfortunately, as of right now, Yai Miko doesn't have such an artifact that, based on how much elemental mastery you have, boosts her overall damage or her applicable weapon doing the same lightning, golfing lightning. So fo focusing too much on the elemental mastery, I think, is counterproductive in my opinion. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't focus on it a little bit. And what I mean by that is if you take a look at my Lisa, who's my Yai Miko stand-in as of right now, and the ones that I have the artifact on that I plan on putting on my Yai Miko, on each one of these substats for my artifacts, you can see one of my main goals was to focus on Elemental Mastery. 
you want to have some, you just shouldn't focus on it being the main stat, like let's say for example, your Sans being Elemental Mastery or doing a meme where you triple Elemental Mastery like Kazuha, it's not that important, but you do still wanna have some so that way your Elemental Skill can still output damage, right? Because like I mentioned, the Elemental Skill is going to be very important, crucial, integral to how you play Yai Miko, and I think it's going to be very important to her gameplay, her rotations, and things of that nature. So you still want the elemental mastery to boost the elemental skill damage. So you wanna make sure you have it on your substats, but to go ahead and focus on it too much, I think it's counterproductive, and I think it's going to be a detriment to how much damage overall that your Yai Miko is going to be able to do. For example, I think your elemental burst damage is gonna suffer and not hit as hard as it should. Your charge attacks and things of that nature, all right? You may have a very strong elemental skill, but other areas of your Yai Miko is going to be incomplete. And you don't want to incomplete Yai Miko, especially if she's going to be one of your mains or one of your favorites or a character you're going to be using a lot. You don't want that to be the case, right? You want your Yai Miko to be the best that she can be. You want her to be optimal and you want to be able to play her to her full potential. And in my subjective opinion, focusing on Elemental Mastery just on the substats, make sure you have Elemental Mastery on each one of them if possible. And then just building that up, you know, if you get a few rolls on there, fantastic. But don't have it as one of your main stats on your artifacts. I just don't think it's that important. But once again, this is just my own subjective opinion. This is just what I think. And I wanted to just try and provide you what I'm doing and just help you out to the best of my ability. So that way, once again, your Yai Miko is the best that she can be. And you're not wondering why someone else's Yai Miko is hitting for X amount and yours is not, but you have everything identical pretty much, right? Anyways, guys, hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully it maybe cleared up some confusion that you might have had. And once again, I could be completely wrong. She could come out and the Elemental Mastery is just so significant that you want to triple Elemental Mastery and do the meme and it be that important right i can be completely wrong but i don't think so we'll have to wait and see anyways guys i'm gonna get on out of here once again i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you tomorrow in tomorrow's stream if you're gonna be there i love you guys i appreciate you guys remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond and literally and i do mean literally everything that you do my name is cody i'll see you in the next one bye guys